guys and welcome back to my channel um i am getting started on some halloween looks this year i'm not doing anything really gory at least i don't think i don't think i'm gonna use like latex or anything this year i think this year is gonna be more paint based um so i did sketch out a few looks that i wanted to do and today i'm going to be doing one of them stay tuned all right so my lighting might be weird in this video because my vanity lights um i changed them out for daylight bulbs my other ones before were the soft white bulbs so it's giving me like that yellow hue so i think the daylight bulbs combined with my ring light is probably gonna make me really look really really pale or really pink but that's what we're working with oh well let's go so for my first one I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be doing I did like I said I sketched it out pull up my handy dandy picture and it's going to look something like that I want it to be something like that all right so it's gonna be like sort of like pop art zombie type of thing but I want her to be like that greenish color from that Beetlejuice movie you know the the beauty queen with the red hair I think it's red I'll try to find a picture. I don't know. So I want her to be like that color. So let's jump into it. I'm not going to mention anything that I use in this video because you could just basically use whatever you have on hand. It doesn't have to be my specific body paint. That's why I'm not going to mention it. Any body paint will work. Any makeup will work. It's Halloween. Play around. Be creative. And guys, it's late as night. And it's late at night. My kids are still awake. Um, so you may hear them in the background. I do apologize. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by coloring my face. Probably should have covered up my eyebrows first, but oh well. And guys, don't even worry about my hair because I'm putting on a wig afterwards. My hair is growing out. Don't know what to do with it, so i just been trying to put it like in a little cute twisty things. I don't know if you can see it. I have like a twist in the front and it's like bobby pinned and I just put these nails on today and they're already annoying me so they are not going to last very long. I'm trying to like mix all these damn colors together. Alright, so I'm painted. I did my neck as well. Didn't do my eyes because I'll just do it later. But right now I'm going to map out where I want the um, brain to show on my head and where I want the eyeball to be hanging. And I don't even know if I have something else. Hold on. I'm going to put the picture like over here somewhere on the screen so you guys could see what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and take a Q-tip and some water and just take off. I'll do it like this. And then I'm going to do it exactly like the picture. I just mapped out the picture for you now. Point of reference. But it's not going to be exact. And you could probably paint right over this stuff as well. But your colors would mix together. So it's not going to be an ideal situation. But if you feel like you got it, then you got it. But I don't have it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Alright, I think that's like pretty good mapping out for brainage. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, and then the blacked out eye thing is going to be on this side because I have, like, try to close your eyes to see which one you feel more comfortable closing all the time. And I feel like that's this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and map out my eyeball that's going to be hanging, which will probably look like that. Um, and that little string that hangs from the eyeball as well. Whenever you're working with body paints, you should always have baby wipes handy. So I have my baby wipes on the side, I have my cube tips, I have paper towels for paint splattered. You want to be prepared, guys. I also want to map out the area where my teeth will show. And that would probably be over here. Cool. All right, black paint. All right, right now I am doing the eye. Now all this is just freehanded. You could definitely map out everything you want on your face first and then start to fill in, but I feel confident enough to just do it, you know? Okay. 
you guys are planning to wear this for an extended period of time instead of using black body paint on your eye you could definitely use um a black eyeliner that won't budge especially if you're going to be sweating or dancing or whatever the case is well this year no one's going anywhere because you know the whole pandemic but um if you were to go somewhere just use black eyeliner instead so that way your black body paint from your eye is not leaking all over your face if you sweat or if you cry for any reason you know you get me I'm just going around that spot right there because that's where the little eye string is going to be hanging from. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to paint everything else. Alright, this eyeball color is definitely going to look a little gray. We could say it's an old eye, right? It's an old eyeball, it's just hanging. good size for an eye no should it be bigger I think it's okay we'll just do the teeth while we're here too so that way I won't keep on mixing my white body paint with other things and having to get it back all right teeth brushes in it looks like a pumpkin it has this little leaf on it I got it like a year ago I believe a year it might have been two years ago uh, um Walmart it's like a dollar and some change you know Walmart and their prices it was probably like a dollar and 27 cents or something like that let's do some pink for the brain for the little eyeball thing that would hang. I don't know what that, eyeball nerve. The nerve? We'll just say the nerve. Those are some really gapped out looking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dentist. I'm gonna bring it pretty up. And I'm actually gonna go like that. Put a little bit on the eyeball. Something like that. So I went ahead and I finished the brain, so it just has some little squiggles in it. Let me fix that. And I changed my brush too because that other brush was not doing it for me. Then I just outlined the wound. Now I'm just working on filling in the gaps between my teeth and outlining everything. to kind of look like it's bending into my eye socket a little bit I have to draw like a little triangle underneath it something like that I'm just gonna close the gaps Alright, 
and then it's gonna draw the brown part of the eye okay so I finished up the brown on the eyeball and I did add in so little veins with some red body paint my mouth is bleeding already um that's why she used black liquid lipstick when you're doing the mouth area. I'm out. I filled in this eye too. I tried to do some contouring with some blue body paint. That was not working. I'm gonna have to use eyeshadow. I just smacked myself in the face. Um, and I'm just gonna draw some an eyeliner over here on this side. I finished the eyeliner. Um. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, then we'll do the staples. So. My eyebrows are totally not even, but oh well, that's part of being a zombie, I guess. My eyebrows falling off. Totally uneven. I keep on saying it's fine and I keep on going back trying to fix it it's fine okay moving on let's do some stitches real quick staples staples not stitches okay so I guess do I have gray I do have gray all right so I'm just gonna use gray I'm gonna try to do the gray over the paint that I have already let's see what happens where paint over it a couple times to try to cover up the other lines but it's okay <laughs> all right I'm gonna put two here one there let that dry I don't want the colors to mix and then I'll put one here like that that one actually came out pretty good word Looks good, guys. It looks good. I look hella crazy right now. Crazy. Kind of reminds me of Corpse Bride, right? Without the wounds and stuff. Just gonna outline the staples. Kind of feel like um Frankenstein's wife too. The Bride of Frankenstein with the staples. Or even Frankenstein itself. I think I did Frankenstein's Wife last year. Or the year before. Was that a vampire? No, I'm pretty sure that was Frankenstein's Wife. Because I had the wig with the white stripe. My kids are being so loud. Alright, I'm going to dip into some white body paint just to give a highlight on the staple. Like that. Just a little shine. Now I want some shadow. So I'm going to take blue to bring some definition to my face. Just a regular blue eyeshadow. You could use whatever you want. You could even use green if you like. I'm just gonna use blue. What brush is this? I'm just using a contouring blush. I hope this doesn't take off my, um, no, that's fine. My body paint. I'm just gonna kind of tap it because I'm scared. Yeah, just to give some definition to my face. You know, I gotta be snatched. I may be a zombie, but I have to be snatched. My camera is overheating again. This camera's awful, I swear. I need a new camera. Right, so I finished contouring. I went a little crazy on my nose area, but I can't blend it out. So it is what it is. I tried. I tried, guys. It's fine. It's a Halloween look. It's fine. Just don't go as crazy on the contour as I did. Alright, but I'm going to take some red eyeshadow and I'm going to go into the pink areas just to add some definition. Mm, it's 
pretty good, guys. And for the very last thing, black eyeshadow just to shade around the bottom of my eye, around the eyeball, like around the staples, you know, add a little more definition. Dimension. I'm gonna go heavy around my eye. So I'm going to go a little bit under my eye here. Yeah, that's better. Put a little bit right here as well. Now I'm going to add lipstick. Alright guys, so I am done. I went ahead and put on my wig. I did add a little bit more shading around the cut area. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, you could barely even notice. Um, I put the black in my waterline. I didn't say that before. This eye is looking kind of red only because I'm, I'm tired and it's late. Um, yeah, but this is the finished look. I don't know, I feel like this has like a 80s vibe to it because I kind of put like a sidewards ponytail and I put a little pink clip just to give it a pop so let me let me know what you guys think <gasps> I didn't put highlighter on my hands are compared to my <laughs> that's funny all right i hope you guys like how it turned out um you could also put in a black sclera lens if you're comfortable with that so you don't have to keep your eye closed all night you know it'll just be blacked out this looks crazy when I have my eyes open and the eyeball just hanging there. If you guys liked the video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And please subscribe if you have not. Bye guys.